right, Stephen. This is a complete waste That's of time. That's our decision to make. Yes, I do have an open mind. I wouldn't be here yes, if I... I think it's because you want to find out the inside story on my opinion. Let's start with the truth, shall we? I mean, if it is the truth, you have nothing to hide. Then my client's made his feelings clear. No, I just want... Sit down. If the person who killed my friend is walking the streets, then I'd like to meet him. I think that you and I can help each other. Yes, fair enough. Right, well, it started I took my dog, Fred, to Whitewater Common like I normally do every morning for a walk. <coughs> that day was no different. I was crossing the car park when I noticed the camper van to my left. Why did you notice it? Well, it looked kind of scruffy. It was an interesting shade of blue, actually. Out of place. There's this wooded area just beyond the car park, and my dog, Fred, used to run straight down there every time I let him off the lead. I heard a shot. Fred! I called for him for a minute or two, and then I made my way down there. You ran towards the shot? Yes. You weren't scared? I loved my dog. someone standing behind me. I looked up and there was a man. What did this man look like? I look with a... Little like that. He, um... He smiled and then, um... Blackout, I think. He must have hit me with the butt of his gun or something. When I came to, I was actually in the camper van and I heard this loud explosion right side, right side my ear. I opened the camper van door and I became aware that it actually was gunfire. People shouting, yelling, screaming, put your hands up, put your hands up. But pretty little Beth Downing shot me anyway. And that's why I've got defensive wounds on my hand and shoulder. I must have blacked out because the next thing I realized was that I was in a hospital bed surrounded by armed officers. And everybody was treating me like the devil. 